So what was it in the Sitchin story that you did not resonate with in particular? Yeah, there was a number of terms and, and ways that he interpreted things that um, just were not very accurate if you go back to read the records. For instance, that he talked about how we were created to mine gold and, and toil in this place is like a, almost like a slave species. But in really what you find is they don't talk about gold mining or anything like that at all. They actually talk about how the ancient Ajiji, a subset of the Anunnaki, were trying to create infrastructure here. They were, it actually talks about how they were laying bricks in pure places and the Ajiji were building temples and they were cl clearing lifelines of the, the river channels. So that was what I think some of the confusion over mining was because they were clearing river channels of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers so that they could have an extensive agricultural system to create the blueprints of a civilization. You have to have certain criteria and certain things to be able to create a civilization, and they knew that. Right. And that was what they're, they, were, they were doing there. But the story going forward on where we came from and how we associate with that was just quite a bit different. Right, okay, and so the whole notion of slave species doesn't exactly play out the same way. No, in fact- Because I have a great objection to the term slave species. Yeah, I, I do as well. In fact, it's complete, really the opposite is that we were, we were created um, by some and almost like perfection in the universe. How we were, we were created perfect for this planet, but also to be truly like beings that could ascend to a, a place of enormous power and, and potential. And that power and potential has been forgotten in us. And we have, we have lost our way over s such a long period of time. All these catastrophes that have come and reset us back and having to relearn everything again. And we really are a shadow of our former self right now. Right, we just have to wake up. <laughs> Remember, yeah, right? And that's what you're trying to help people that's what I'm do. Trying to do. Well, that is interesting because even in the world of UFOlogy and some of the people who've written books back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, a little there was a little more sanity around the subject in a certain sense at that time. Um, it has been said that there are at least 400,000 humanoid species just in our galaxy, and so. If that's true, it appears that this form that we have now and the form the Anunnaki came in, and we see slight iterations of longer skulls, of fewer fingers and so forth yeah. here and there, but it appears to be a form that's quite um, diversely capable. Yeah, yeah, it seems like, um, you know, we don't know all the different species that exist in the universe. You know, no. we only have this little glimpse of, you know, this might be this, this might be that, but yeah. one of the things we know for certain is we were created in their image. Yeah meaning that they looked like us. And you mm -hmm. can see depictions and murals of them. They're much taller than we were. And I think really that's where the whole story of the Nephilim comes in with these giant kings ruling. That's, that's the, the image of them. That's what they are. We are like a child of them created in their right. image. So we're just another iteration of a humanoid species. Exactly. Basically, exactly. which is highly functional. We have opposable thumbs. That's okay. right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm.